wake up. Hi guys, happy new year in advance to you guys. This is December the 31st and hopefully we'll be in the new year together in some hours. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. My name is Awam Kenneth and if this is your first time here, welcome back to my channel and I kind of like make great content and I'm proud of it and it just documents my life anyway. So today's video is all about financial goals in 2020 and quick just i traveled to joyce and i'm making a video about what happened in joyce i was meant to show you guys some restaurants some cool places and just like that but something happened see it in the next video anyway so today's video is all about financial goals in 2020 i was reading up an article on bella niger and i was like oh this is a very very great kickoff and i should just do a video to that because it ended up um the article ended up saying like something um like ended up like a prayer in a way so i'm just like really excited to talk about that and hence the problem we have in nigeria consigning treasury bills and everybody just crying and going almost crazy consigning the low rates and nobody know what to do in terms of like making safe investments because to be honest with you all those agri tech companies out there are a little bit scary apart from the ones that are obviously considered brands now because there are so many things you hear in this nigeria that you just have to be very paranoid about and remember always don't believe everything you read hear say or do or even see for that matter always be a little bit paranoid will be my advice to you this new year anyway but don't take it too extreme so Today's topic, which is financial goals in 2020, it's all about like looking back at 2019 and seeing what you wished you've done better or you aspire to do better. So in this new year, you know, for some people, it's an argument that the new year is basically just another day and we should stop coming up with new plans. But anyway, it's just something to remind you that, hey, we've spent over 365 days, right? So we're looking forward to the next 365 days and what we're going to do in that time period. So what are your goals? For this video, I'm all about financials, so I'm just going to stick to that. So the first thing I would like to start off with is start small. Start small in the sense that we all have like grand ideas, like everybody wants to be a millionaire, billionaire, Linda Ikeji, Dan Gute, Black Bill Gates in the making, you know, I am number one contender anyway. So it's all about like starting small. The thing with successful stories and reading about all this, how this person made it, how Kylie Jenner grew a billion um, dollar empire in whatever, whatever days, right? Is they don't really tell you about the real nitty gritty of the origin story so for example this person had to sacrifice a lot this person didn't go to school didn't go to university to able to like see this 20 year journey journey through so we don't really understand the suffering because we don't read it we don't live um those days we don't live it on a daily basis we only just read on paper with words summarizing the sufferings which to be honest we can't really put emotional feelings into words we can just assume we can feel them so the idea here is that small everything like the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step right it has been said in different proverbs and wise sayings and quotes anonymously or unanonymously right so the first thing I like to say is start small because it will really, really help you in terms of like the goals you want to achieve. So for example, if you want to have 20 million by the end of 2020, right? You know, 2020, 20 million, it makes sense. You have to start small. So what will happen here is divide 20 million by 12, what you get, you should get somewhere around like, let's say 2 million or almost 2 million approximately, right? So. I mean, each month you should save up 2 million. So how are you going to get 2 million each month? Now, that gives you a plan or an avenue to plan something out, to figure something out for yourself. So from there, you can now achieve your bigger goal of 20 million Naira, hopefully. You know, and if you do that, please remember that you got the inspiration from me and you owe me my due, my pay cut. I take 10% off that amount anyway so the next one is reduce your debt reducing your debt is also helpful in terms of where you are going to so if you are trying to achieve that 20 million dollars by the end of 
Oh, 20 million dollars. Wow. Okay. That's, that's nice. By the end of 20, 2020, right? And you have $10,000 in students loan debt and you haven't paid it up. That will be a hindrance to you over if the $10,000 looks small to your $20 million um, dollar idea. Anyway, so cutting that off helps. And we also have to keep something in the back of our minds that there is a thing called compounding interest. So con compounding interest can be a very good servant for you or can just be a very horrible punisher <laughs> in terms of the theme. So in essence, if you have compounding interest working for you in investments, it just basically means that the principal capital plus the interest um you've gotten over that say that period of investment you did right you add those two together you do another investment again you get an additional interest from this secondary investment you just did that means your um profit is now compounding your interests are compounding so it also works in the same way for debt so if you borrow something for let's say 10 naira and your interest is one naira that means at the end of the day you're owing two naira so after the next year the interest again of one naira still applies to it so before you know you're owing three naira so if it goes on goes on like that next thing you know you're owing one thousand naira and you don't know how you what you even did with that money in the first place you get so reducing your debts is important so make a list it's hard even for me i start and off or i start and stop i always start and stop when it comes to like jotting down my expenses but at least you have to try you get it's not easy but you have to try to make sure that you're accountable the next one is discovering yourself now discovering yourself is the reason why i even started this youtube channel in the first place to just see who is the real album kenneth and where this will take me to and what life has in store for me right so but the idea here is discovering yourself makes it's easier or it gives you an avenue to plan right it doesn't make your life easier in a way but i mean it just makes you like oh confident that this is who i am and i think this is where i might go and from there you have that confidence in planning and in the long term it makes your life easier in a way anyway so your life is unpredictable then the next one is investing in yourself now investing yourself can only come in my own idea can only come after you have discovered yourself or you're in the process of discovering yourself right so for example if you want to be a hmm, a movie director or a story creator or a script writer watching good movies will really help you in building up imaginations or inspirations for content you see to create in the future right that would be, that would be a very good avenue to start if you want to be a ux designer or a games app developer playing good games and just testing out the fields or testing out the look and feel of these apps is a very good place to start you get so that you see oh this person has done this you get like varieties of examples of work being done and you can then build inspiration from then on right so don't always look at it like oh they said we should not watch films they said we should not play games that is bad for you i think if you do it in a structured well meaningful way that you take lessons from at the end of the day then that also works too right okay guys so these are my financial tips for you this new year or 2019 or almost new year or this could also be considered as my new year's message to everyone here on this platform so remember your financials are important know what you are doing with your money know how your money's been spent know the debt you're collecting right know who you are and also invest in who you are at the end of the day remember that in nigeria our treasury bills rates are reduced right it's no longer the glorious 18 percent 23 percent it used to be now it's almost like london you know it's like seven percent right now which is bad to be honest i don't know why i'm laughing and also like some land borders have been closed so they have been talked about food scarcity or increase in price of food going up and you know we live in a country whereby for those who live in nigeria whereby people spend almost all of their income on food so that is also a call to worry and plan against that right plan against 
um, falling into that kind of crisis. So remember, know your money, know what your money is. Is your money a man? Is your money a woman? Is your money stingy? Is it greedy? Is it generous? Right? And call it to order in any which way you see fit right and also remember that there are also investment platforms out there so you it deems you fit to look at them so give them a try and experiment if you're giving this platform a try always start small please don't just go and throw in your life savings at a go on from someone or based on someone's recommendation so remember to be careful if not someone use your money for the next renovation project in their village anyway it's been fun stay tuned subscribe it's your boy i'm kenneth see you in my next one bye